Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see Introduction to ASME, Section 1 and Section 2. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. What are the different ASME codes, you know, which we are following now for different, different applications? Okay. So section one was the first code which was created and that was for power boilers. Okay. So see uh, what is the main difference in uh, boilers? We can also design by section eight division one. Okay. But what is the main difference? Anybody can tell section one and section eight. See boilers can be designed by both of these codes. But what is the main difference? If you read the name of the code itself, it will clarify. So section one is for fired boilers. So direct firing, you know, that inside the vessel firing will happen. Yes, very rightly meant, Munendra. So uh, section one covers direct firing. Okay. And uh, section one covers direct firing. Section eight is unfired power boilers the firing will be outside like a combustor will be there and then from there that hot gases will be taken in for steam generation okay so that is the main difference so section one power boilers are designed with section one so now uh, before we go in these sections you know let us understand the overall construction of this code okay so the code will have certain sections which we can call it as a design code design code means it will cover it's not like it will cover only design part but it will cover all the cycles okay uh, starting from material to fa design fabrication quality okay but now there will be certain sections which will be common like section 2 which is for material it will be followed by all the design codes. Okay. So if you see section two, that is the reason if you refer part D, there are lots of different tables, you know, for the stress value, right? So you might have already seen that. So why that different tables are coming into picture? Because it refers to different design codes. Okay. Similar to material, there is one more column. You know, one more section, which is a how to do quality check related to non-destructive examinations, ND, which we call. So section five, which is related to non-destructive examination, it caters to all the different design codes. Section nine, which is related to welding, it caters to all welding related, you know, uh, procedures. So now that I'll ask one question and I'll like all of you to respond. Okay. And that question is if section five is covering non-destructive examinations rules. So like section eight division one does not cover it. Is it like that? With the section, okay, let us start with that. With the section eight division one does not talk about non-destructive ex examination in, uh, my statement is correct or wrong if i'm making a statement that section 8 division 1 does not cover any quality or uh, non-destructive examinations related paragraphs is it correct or wrong yes it talks okay so Sanjay Sharma is also saying it covers, it covers. Okay. So if I make a statement like that and it is wrong, right? So then if both this, like if we are agreeing that section eight division one also covers about non-destructive examination, then what is the difference? Like there will be confusion, right? Which one to follow, whether we follow section five or we follow section eight division one which one to follow because both are giving non-destructive examinations related uh, chapters then 
don't don't you think it will become confusing that or contradicting sometime and if uh, section 5 is scattering to all the different codes i'm asking uh, if section 5 uh, covers procedures yeah sanjay sharma is uh, talking now so that munin which uh, you were telling that you know section so section 5 is actually based on how to do it okay section 9 will also focus on how to do okay so the general section 5 that non destructive examination they will mention about the procedures to perform that test okay like uh, liquid penetration examination is there non destructive examination is there and uh, rt or uh, ut or mt so it will cover the procedure part of it how to conduct okay so now if i conducted radiography okay so procedure will be same for all you know how to place source what should be the distance where to keep the film okay so finally if i have the film till that the procedure is common for all the codes the difference is when we start reviewing that film whether that film the defects in each weld will have some defects okay now it is acceptable to my design code or not please listen to it very carefully so that defects which are there each weld will have some defects okay it's not like uh, you'll have completely defect free but now there is acceptance guideline for that defect which is mentioned in the different design codes same defect may be acceptable for division 1 same defect may not be acceptable for section 3 making it clear so what i'm saying section 5 so if you talk about only that nd okay rt okay so to understand it perfectly so like how to perform rt that will be given by section 5 so i will apply section 5 when i'm going to do radiography examinations okay i'll keep the source i'll take the film see finally rt is what taking the film right uh, the source will be projected on the metal on the welding part which you are going to inspect and then there will be film at the end of that radiography examinations okay then film goes to a rt1 rt2 whatever you know the level person uh ndd level person and he will be reviewing that film so when you are reviewing so you will have lots of defects okay now the defects are acceptable or not so what fair design code will come into picture they will mention the criteria okay like if you have you got a linear defect what is the permissible length of the defect okay if you have got a clutter of porosity okay what is the size of porosity your closed defects permitted okay so if the code is very stringent like section 3 it will give very you uh, know it will accept very 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 thin defects okay that length let us take example like 1 mm length if it is acceptable in section 8 division 1 the section 3 will specify 0.1 0.2 mm 1 mm will not be acceptable you have to then correct that okay i'm just taking it as a example don't take that value as a code value okay so if you go to section 8 division 1 section it will give you the acceptance of that film how to accept like if my design code is section 8 division 1 what types of defect i can accept is it clear so section 5 will talk about how to do it whether to accept it or not that will be governed by the specific design code that is that in the nutshell so that is what i'm trying so procedures how to conduct is given in this section 5 how to uh, you know whether to accept that or not because see if you are doing welding there will be defects you know but it may be acceptable defects are also acceptable okay so there but if they are bigger then there are 
limitation given like if the cluster of defects are happening okay what should be the size of that cluster what is acceptable what is not acceptable that is given by the design code okay great i think i have clarified that so section 2 is also similar it falls into that category it is catering to lots of different codes so if you see there are different tables stress tables given right so if you see the if you are referring as allowable stress from section 2 you should be very careful which table you are referring okay so for section 8 division 1 that table 1 is there for different different sections different tables are there from there you have to pick the allowable stress because factor of safety is different and allowable stress directly comes from factor of safety see there is no factor of safety mentioned in the code separately okay this is also yeah, uh, you should remember if you are not clear so factor of safety comes uh, attached with your allowable stress okay allowable stress takes care of your factor of safety okay so that is section 2 about materials i hope you understood this part stay tuned with us for the second part of this video